while everyone is waiting for AD Loveless GPUs and RX 7000 series from AMD, we still have several months before we can see their launch and we may have to wait for a couple of weeks more before we can see them sitting on the shelves. However, the recent reports tell us that there are as many as 9 new graphics cards that will hit the market even before we reach the summers. So watch this latest report till the end and subscribe to the channel as I upload great stories like this regularly. So you might have heard about various rumors or leaks in the past few weeks that Intel, AMD and Nvidia are going to launch new GPUs in the first half. Except for Intel, both AMD and Nvidia are reportedly going to release new cards in the already available GPU families. However, according to the new report, we have Intel joining the GPU market with more graphics cards than we previously expected. If you remember, it was previously thought that Intel will start off by releasing only two ARC GPUs with three configurations. These were the ARC GPUs with 128 and 512 execution units or the A380 and its little sibling and the mid-range A780. Yes, very soon after this report, we heard rumors that Intel has delayed the launch to the third quarter. But 3D Center has published a report where it says that not only Intel is launching the first batch of ARC GPUs in the second quarter, but it has also added another graphics card to the list, making the total number of graphics cards to four that will enter the market by the end of June. Two of these cards belong to the entry-level GPU family with the ARC A350 with 96 EU and ARC A380 with 128 EU. In the mid-range, we have the RK780 with 512 EU along with the new GPU, the RK580 with 384 EU. So Intel is preparing to target the budget as well as mid-end gaming segment, which is definitely essential because these GPUs can't catch up with the performance of next-gen AMD and Nvidia GPUs. However, launching them a few months before is the best thing Intel can do right now. Now AMD and Nvidia are also planning to launch a few cards in their existing families. AMD is supposedly launching the RX 6000 series refresh cards in the second quarter that include the RX 6650 XT, 6750 XT and 6950 XT. Moreover, it is also surprisingly launching the RX 6500 in May. I don't know why AMD is launching this card because RX 6500 XT which should be a faster GPU than this non-XT version is already so much disappointing. Then why AMD is launching another card that is supposedly inferior in performance? Maybe AMD has some different plans for this card. But the best scenario I can think about it is that it should not come with any PCI lanes limitation. Only then we can see it selling in the market, otherwise this card shouldn't exist in the first place. And now lastly, Nvidia is also looking to launch one more graphics card in the Ampere family. Nvidia was reportedly working on launching the RTX 3090 Ti and the RTX 3070 Ti 16 GB edition. Even some AIBs like Gigabyte and ASUS also prepared their RTX 3070 Ti cards. But according to a leaker by the name of Power Sausage on Chipel Forum, Nvidia has officially killed the RTX 3070 Ti 16 GB GPU. But it has finally decided to launch the RTX 3090 Ti which was facing a lot of hardware issues due to which it got delayed before. Nvidia is allegedly launching it at the end of this month and it is rumored that it will be bigger than we expected. Well, I don't know if you guys are interested in a beastly GPU like the 3090 Ti, but I am more interested in Intel's ARC GPUs as the budget and mid-end GPU segments are the most popular ones. I honestly don't think that RTX 3090 Ti will be worth the price as it is going to be limited in quantity with a hefty price we haven't seen before. So it will be better to wait for the leveless GPUs because that time the prices of Ampere GPUs will fall rapidly. Meanwhile, you can watch my video on Ampere GPUs right here which gives an insight on how much power they are supposedly going to consume. Till then, goodbye and I will see you next time.